We are on the eve of a drastic revolution in the automotive universe which no longer resembles what we knew. The relentless technological evolution and the burgeoning fascination with electric vehicles have the power to completely reshape the dynamics of the automotive sector. However, many are unaware of a more subtle yet equally powerful change that is being orchestrated away from the spotlight. A strategic move that could threaten the reign of major players like Ford, GM, and Volkswagen, who currently dominate the global car market. This transformation is the exponential development of the Chinese automotive industry, a phenomenon that could even challenge Tesla. China is known as the industrial heart of the planet, with the automotive sector integrated into this gigantic production mechanism. The biggest companies in the industry rely on the competent and affordable Chinese workforce to boost their production and supply the global market. However, a confluence of elements has propelled the Chinese automotive sector to surprising growth, capable of rivaling the current market powers. Among the determining factors are the colossal Chinese domestic market, numerous trading partners, and government support for electric vehicles. If you believe that Chinese products suffer from a chronic condition of low quality, it may be time to reconsider your assumptions. In this account, we will clarify how China is about to take control of the global automotive market and why your next car may bear the label made in China. Started in the 1980s, the Chinese automotive industry has improved and intensified its production and vehicle export capacity. From 1985, with the strategic alliance between Volkswagen and Chinese SAIC, a new era unfolded, enabling giants of the industry such as Toyota, Ford, BMW, General Motors, and Honda to establish a presence in Chinese territory. The low cost of labor, accounting for only 5% of production costs, solidified China as the Eden of low-cost automobiles. Although the initial strength of Chinese cars was not their quality, they stood out for offering a complete and affordable package combined with modern design. The ascending Chinese automotive market, since 1999, has shown an average growth of 9% in its early years. Fiscal incentives and a significant injection of resources, over $700 million, fueled the renewal of the vehicle fleet in the country. Despite the challenges encountered in the competitive American market, Chinese exports evolved rapidly, especially between 2005 and 2010. For instance, in 2005, China exported about 170,000 vehicles, a number that jumped to 340,000 in 2006 and surpassed the 600,000 mark in 2007. This rapid increase is a reflection of the investment in emerging markets, especially in South America, Eastern Europe, and Africa, where China has gradually carved out its market share, a crucial step in solidifying its global image. In Brazil, the first Chinese models landed in 2007, with the pioneer being the EFA M100, manufactured by EFA Motors. Offering the best cost-benefit ratio, it was introduced as the most affordable car in the country, with a wide range of functionalities. However, the EFA M100 failed to win over Brazilian consumers, facing criticism for its unsatisfactory performance, low-quality finish, lack of technical information, and difficulties in finding replacement parts. Another Chinese model, the Lefan 320, besides facing the same difficulties, was accused of being a copy of the Mini Cooper, reinforcing the infamous reputation of Xingling products. However, the situation began to reverse in 2017 when the automaker Cherry joined forces with the CAOA Group, the largest conglomerate of vehicle production and distribution in Latin America, starting the production of the Tigo SUVs and the Arizo sedan. Since then, the models manufactured in Brazil have maintained the wide range of functionalities that characterize Chinese cars but with more competitive prices, paving the way for the recovery of the image of Chinese vehicles in the country. When it comes to cars, made in China, is no longer a reason to turn up one's nose. 
On the contrary, on the streets, exuding modernity, advanced technology, and reliability, 100% Chinese vehicles are turning heads of consumers and challenging the status quo of the global automotive industry. China, in a historic turn, aims to become the second largest exporter of passenger vehicles on the planet. This ambition brings a seismic shift in the structures of the international market and promises to redesign the trajectory of the automobile industry. The Chinese ascent, however, is not limited to mass production. It is strongly driven by increasing investments in innovative technologies. In recent times, the country has increased its spending on research and development by over 10%. It is no surprise that since 2020, exports of Made in China vehicles have tripled, surpassing the impressive figure of 3.11 million units exported, according to data from the Chinese Association of Automobile Manufacturers. This trend, surpassing even Germany, once the second place holder, signals China's powerful rise to the top, alongside global giants like the United States. Far from the image of the world's factory and low-quality electronics, China now displays a more mature and innovative face. Its products are more complex, original, and subject to rigorous quality control. China's ambitious plan to surpass its competitors is translated into policies aimed at stimulating local production. The Chinese government strategically imposed that foreign automakers support technology development in the country and purchase from local suppliers. Thanks to this maneuver, China has taken big steps, especially in the field of electric components. Its batteries are already making a strong presence in Europe, and by 2031, the expectation is that China will be the main supplier of electric batteries for the old continent. However, not everything is rosy. Accusations of espionage and attempts to seize others' technology tarnish the image of the eastern giant. The FBI has warned of China's intention to plunder the intellectual property of Western companies through infiltrations in corporations. Furthermore, the practice of forcing foreign companies to share technology in exchange for access to the Chinese market has caused controversies. The United States, in turn, tries to thwart Chinese progress, especially concerning semiconductors, a crucial component for various industries. For the American government, the Chinese ascent is seen as a threat to national security, and measures have been taken to slow down the development of the rival country. However, the resistance seems to be futile in the face of China's prowess. The country's automotive industry emerges increasingly strengthened and focused on the race to dominate the electric car market. Not even espionage scandals have been able to overshadow the brilliance of the Chinese automotive industry. It has already surpassed vehicle production in the US and Japan, with more than 26 million units in 2021, and now positions itself as a global center for automobile manufacturing. With cutting-edge technological development, China places its industry in a privileged position, anticipating nations that have been producing vehicles on a large scale since the last century. But of course, China doesn't stop there. It already stands out as one of the largest exporters of auto parts and also aims to dominate the electric vehicle industry. It is already a leader in electric battery manufacturing, with Europe as its main customer. And with electric vehicle engineering being easier to master than internal combustion vehicles, China marches firmly towards supremacy in the global automotive market. China has experienced a true boom of startups focused on electric batteries. With the ambition of becoming the epicenter of production for more affordable electric vehicles, the Asian giant already counts on the presence of companies like Tesla, whose mega factory in Shanghai now accounts for over half of the company's global production. Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla, recognizes the imminent Chinese threat in the field of electric cars, pointing out the hard work and superior preparation of the Chinese in relation to traditional brands like Ford and General Motors. 
with over 25% of the local market already dominated by electric vehicles, Chinese manufacturers have stood out. For example, Saic, a subsidiary of General Motors, offers the Wuling Bingo, an affordable electric car for urban use. The electric and hybrid car manufacturer BYD, the Chinese Tesla, has boosted sales of its models both in China and Latin America, where Tesla has barely made a presence. BYD invests in automation and driving experience, with advanced multimedia systems and batteries that offer up to 300 km per charge. Moreover, the company explores alternative markets not yet conquered by conventional brands, reflecting China's aspirations to become the world's greatest industrial power. It is still early to bestow such a title upon China, but it is undeniable that the country possesses all the advantages to be the catalyst of a revolution in the automotive industry, becoming a reference in electric and technologically advanced vehicles. Now, do you want to know how the big Chinese manufacturer plans to surpass Tesla once and for all? Then, click on this video here on the screen. And don't forget to leave your opinion about the rise of Chinese cars in the comments.